Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend at home. I missed you yesterday. I know we didn't have a chance to watch a video yesterday because it was Monday and it was a holiday, but I hope you guys had so much fun um, on your weekend with mommy and daddy. This week, we're gonna learn about super cool stuff and uh, we're gonna be talking about travel and transportation, ways we could travel, okay? So, can you guys see what I have back here? Can you tell what it is? Does anybody know? It is a map. You were right. Let me scoot a little bit. But it is a map of the United States. Do you guys live in the United States? I do. Everybody should be raising your hand. We all live in the United States. Do you guys know what state we live in? California. And if you're saying Orange County, you do live in Orange County. Orange County is in California. So this state right here, this red one, that kind of looks like a sock. This is the state we live in. We live in California. And we live right around here. Right now. It's not, that's pretty cool, huh? We live close to the ocean. But we all live in the United States and we all live in California. And then do you see this blue part, this blue section? All the blue that you see is the ocean. It's, it's water. The darker blue is the ocean. And the lighter blues are like lakes. Okay, and they connect to the ocean as well. Do you guys remember last week how we learned that water, since we learned about the ocean, did you guys remember that water is more? Is there more water in the world on earth or is there more land? There is more water, okay? So we're gonna talk about that today. And we're gonna talk about travel, but how do you think we travel? How can we travel? What are ways that we could travel? Okay, so I'm gonna we're gonna talk about that. So I have my papers right here, and you guys don't have these, but it's okay. We're gonna practice with that. And our my letter X just fell. So this is a poster that says air, and I'm gonna show you things ways we could travel through the air. Okay, because we could fly. There's also ways that we could travel by sea, and that's traveling in water. And the third one is we could travel by land, okay? So I have pictures right here, and you get to tell me, where does this one go? This is a sailboat. Can we travel on a sailboat on land? No, not land. What do we travel? <gasps> the sailboat goes in the sea okay next one do you guys know what this is this is called a blip have you guys seen a blip before a blip is like a giant balloon that flies in the air you usually see it if it, there's like sports going on and stuff but a blip you tra can travel on a blip through where the air, okay? What about this one? And we talked about this one before. A rocket, can we travel? Where do we use a, a rocket to travel to? To outer space. So is outer space in the sea, in the land, or in the air? The air, so we're gonna stick it on the air again, okay? And maybe we could stick it on going to towards the sun because it goes in outer space, right? Then we have, ooh, what do you guys think is this? It's a cruise ship. Where do you think we use a cruise ship to? On land. So I'm going to put it here so you guys could see. Did you guys know that I went on a cruise ship? We're going to talk about that more later on okay let's see I'm gonna show you this one do you guys know what this is it is a jet and a jet goes super fast on the road no 
It doesn't go on the run? Where does it go? I know. It goes in the sea. Just kidding. It does not go in the sea. It goes in the air as well. A jet is like an airplane that goes so fast. You probably have heard them fly over. Okay. What about this one? That's a plane. And it also goes in the air. Have you guys gone on a plane? I have. Okay. What else goes in the air? A helicopter. Man, I'm getting all the, the stickers for air. Let's see if we can see any others for land or sea. Okay. Do you guys know what this is? This is called a canoe. And you could use a canoe in the water. But a canoe is not very good for the sea, the ocean. You could use a canoe in lakes. So I'm going to put them up here because the lakes are up there. Um, what about a tugboat? What do you think we use a tugboat for? For sea. We don't use a tugboat. We don't use tugboats in land. What about this one? A submarine. Where does a submarine go? Does it go in the sea? Or does it go in land? In sea. Okay. So there we go. Let's see what we could use to travel on land. I did not get any. I must have lost my pictures. But what could we use to travel on land? We could use our legs because we could go walking. Many of you guys have said that you guys have been using your bikes. Is that a way to travel? Yeah. The bike gets you from one place to the next. So you could use a bike on land. What else could we use it, uh, uh, to travel on land? It goes, choo choo. A boat. I mean, not a boat. What am I saying? A train. We could use a train. A train you could travel by land. Um, what? Everybody has this one at home. You It has a steering wheel. And it has wheels. And you usually get on it to go to school. For a drive-by. A car. We could use a car on land. And that's another way to travel. Okay? So, in your packet... You have this. It is called a passport. And this week we're talking about travel and transportation. Okay? So we already covered all the ways that we could travel through and how we could go to different states. If we would want to go to Colorado, this yellow state right here, do you think we could use a cruise ship to get to Colorado? No, because the ship cannot travel in land. It has to travel in water. And there is no water. No way for the cruise ship to get to Colorado. What's another way we could get to Colorado? We could drive to Colorado. Why do you think we could drive? Because we could go through land. What's another way we could go? What's a way we could go through air? We can use and do we use a, uh, let me see if I can show you. Can we use a rocket to get to Colorado? No, because rockets are used to travel where? Outer space. Is Colorado in outer space? Mm -mm. So we could use an airplane to travel to Colorado because we get on the airplane and it will fly us all the way to Colorado. And then the airplane could fly us back to California. Okay? So, I'm going to tell you how I traveled one day. So, just like your passport, but let's talk about this one first. So, in your passport, you're going to need, you're gonna, it's going to look like this. And you're going to write your name, your birthday, when we gave you this passport. So, you could write today's date because we're using it today. And then your signature, that means you sign your name. So I signed up my name, the US. So 
So this is your passport that we're going to be using this week and we're going to travel to different places, okay? Um, I want to show you my real passport. Maybe you guys have a real passport at home too. So look, this is how a passport looks, okay? We are from the United States of America. Some friends are from Mexico, some friends are from Canada. They're from different places, but I was born in the United States, so I get this colored passport. Some friends have green passports or red passports, different colors, but this is mine, okay? So just like your own passport in here, you're gonna, you need a picture. And mine has my picture too and my information, okay? So you're gonna need a picture. I'm gonna put it right there, all right? So I travel to Mexico. Do you guys know what Mexico is? Is Mexico in the United States? No. Mexico is down here in this gray part area. But I traveled on a cruise ship. I went on a cruise ship. And I went on this big ship, one of these big ships in California. And then the ship went all the way down to Mexico. And what do you think I did in Mexico? Well, I have a picture to show you. So, see, that's the water. This is inside Mexico. And I'm in the cruise ship. And I went to Mexico. I went to Cabo San Lucas. Have you guys gone to Cabo? If not, it's very beautiful. And what do you think there is in Cabo? The beaches. Do you think it's gonna be sunny or was it cold? What do you think? Can you tell? I'm wearing a dress, a summery dress and a hat. What do you think I used the hat for? To cover me from the sun because it's so sunny. So here's another picture of me and I'm at the beach and see the water and I'm wearing another hat and some sunglasses to protect me from the sun. So what do you think I used? I packed for the beach because it was sunny. I packed a hat. I packed some sunglasses. I packed dresses and bathing suits. Did I pack boots, rain boots? Mm -mm. I didn't need rain boots. What shoes did I need? Sandals, okay? So that's what I did. Where have you guys traveled to? What did you pack? Maybe you, you traveled in your car and you went somewhere where it was cold, okay? So we're gonna be talking about more of ways and things we could travel to. Maybe we'll travel together, okay? So that's it for today, guys. I'll see you guys in on Thursday. So today is Tuesday, tomorrow is Wednesday, and then Thursday, two days, and I'll see you at school, okay, guys? See ya. Bye, guys.